Well, hello, hello, and welcome to episode four of Games Revisited. I'm your host, Anon Jr. We are going through Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, the classic. And um, just a quick recap for those of you who might be new. We are doing a medium-paced playthrough of the game, not dragging our feet. Uh, all the grinding kind of stuff is done off-stream, and... Not exactly trying to do a record-setting run-through either. Yeah, just a, a chance to look at the game, get a sense for how it plays, look at the story, and all that good fun. Last week, we beat up a bunch of raccoons. We went through the sewers, rescued a Wookiee, and <laughs> and broke into a swoop bike gang uh, base. And started clearing our way through that. We did get wiped out once from overreaching. Oops. And uh, and now it's time to move forward. We still need to finish up that base. We still need to finish taking on one of the, uh, the big gangsters there. Uh, we still have a contract out on Bendek Starkiller. And... I was originally going to work on that off stream, but um, I think I want to really do the, try that one again on stream. As you no doubt see and probably heard, it's fussing at me about leveling up. I'm currently at level 5. I have enough XP to go beyond that, but if you missed the first episode... Um, we went over ba the the basic idea is that as long as we're on the tutorial planet, as long as we're on Terrace, the goal is to stay at level five, so that way we'll have fifteen levels available for the Jedi class that we pick, and uh, and go that way. Before I go too much further, I want to take a minute to chat with my minions to see if they have anything worth yes, what's on your mind? saying. Because they... no, never mind. You got it. They seem to pick the worst times to want to talk about stuff. Hey there, what can I do for you? Alright, uh... I don't want to talk about Griff and you? Lena. Nope. Just the thought okay. of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed, as far as I'm concerned. Subject's closed. If I'm gonna closed. be any help to you, I can't Until be worried about my brother combat. running off with some intergalactic <laughs> skank. Big... So is there something else yeah, you need? Where we're gonna be sneaking through somebody's base and, uh... Okay, no. okay. have it your way. Yeah, I think we did that before we logged off, if I remember right. And we upgraded everything as best we could, so away we go. And uh, she's level 6, he's level 6, he's level 6. So, who do I want watching my back as we go through? These are all distance shooters, which help... He's got the skills for some of the doors, so I will add her. Uh, I really want to try to level up my chatting with the Wookiee, so I will add him. And there we go. This is the party I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You want me to level. How's it feel to want? All right. That's not it. A little further. I think I do this every time and I really should go the other way. <laughs> I'll remember one of these days, I promise. Alright. I am going to make my way to the arena to try my best with uh, Bendok Starkiller again. But before I do, I want to try a different tactic. Hey, I know you. You're the mysterious stranger, right? Yeah. Everybody's saying you're going to fight Bendix Starkiller so in an illegal death match. If you, you remember, know, that was one of the... Bendix <laughs> never lost a match in his life, right? You need to take a look at my weapons and armor. Mm -hmm. Because of the Sith quarantine, yeah, I yeah, haven't yeah. been able to stock any new inventory. No but new stock. I still got some gotcha. nice items you might be interested in. All right. 
So, is there anything I need to get out of my inventory before I go too much further? Uh, that has no value. So I'll leave that. I don't use the frag mines. So I could use the credits. I want to keep the strength bump. I want to keep the con buff. I want to keep the dex buff. I will definitely need to use more of the energy shields. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Devastating to any droids of personal sheet. Okay, that could be good. Plasma grenades. All right. Sonic grenade. Okay. You know what? I need to keep it relatively clear and simple, and I don't want to have to remember what that is. What I want to do is I want to load up on some concussion grenades and frag grenades. And let's see. Uh... Do I want to hang on to the blaster rifles? I will hang on to one of them for now. I'll hang on to the disruptor rifle. I'll keep one of those. Let me get rid of... Trying to think of what's coming up. No, I'll hang on to those for the moment. All right, we got the Viper Blade. All right. Uh, I am stocking up on the armor. I don't remember who's going to need those, so I will stop right there for the moment. It's not like I can't turn around and sell it later. I'll hang on to the parts and the spikes. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to want some more parts for the base. 12 med packs will be good enough for now. I got some advanced med packs. All right, so let's go to. I don't need the security spike. I definitely don't need armor or weapons beyond. I'm going to need. All right, how many of the frag grenades did I have? Short-term memory, something or other. I got three. So let me go ahead and buy seven more. One, two, three, four, six, seven. And let me go ahead and get five more. Ooh, look at my credits. Ooh. All right. But it'll be worth it if this works. Because here's the basic idea. Last time, or when I started this whole quest series to go through the, the arena stuff, if you remember, I opened up with... Sorry, I just realized I want to leave him on default attack. And I want to change her over to default attack. I do not want either one of them burning through my grenades. <clears throat> when I first started all the arena combat, I'd lob a couple of grenades and then mop up the rest. And so I want to take that... I wandered away from that tactic as, for various reasons, it became less and less feasible. And I want to return back to that way of handling things. Because it worked out really well for Duncan, because he was a wuss. It worked out really well for Gerloin, because he just stood there and shot at you. And uh, I didn't use it on Ice, because she moved around too much. And I didn't use it on the double-bladed guy, who has since wandered away from things. Because, well, same reason. He, he was a melee character and would move before the grenade actually did anything useful. And uh, I completely forgot about the tic tactic with uh, Twitch over there. And I was able to tank him alright. 
without too much trouble. Since standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with this dude is not working out too well, I'm going to go back to the tried and true, soften him up with some grenades, <laughs> and then, and then have my way with them. And I'm going to use the concussion grenades, so that way I can hopefully stun him. Before I do anything else, let me go ahead and say, yeah, I really want to save. Start of my go for episode four. All right. So I return here when I was. Sinus Pollen is in the air. Alright, maybe it's wrong. What? No? Just a little chatter? Bendak is an evil, evil man. Killing him would be a good thing. And it would make us both credits. <laughs> is that what I heard? That's what I heard. I mean, I am talking to a hut after all. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Alright, turn off the energy suppressors. Weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes. You ready to fight? Hey. Ho. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Ladies and gentlemen, come Ladies with me now on a journey gentlemen. to the savage days of years gone by. To a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're bad. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years. But we're televising but this to everybody tonight, on the planet. An old-fashioned <laughs> death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit. Yeah, since he is a shooter, he is highly likely to stand in place. So, I'm going to open up with a concussion grenade. I'm going to hit a couple of the stem, the booster things. The super soldier chain. <laughs> or essentially, you know, close enough. And then, while he's stunned, I'm going to try to beat him up. I'm just going to try to alternate stunning him and beating him up. No, not an iron grenade, not a plasma grenade, a concussion grenade. And then an energy shield. And then I want stamina. And I want strength. Power attack the fool. Oop. Run away. Med back. I did not notice how that was going.
him! Get him while he's down! <laughs> Alright. Light bot. I don't know if that is... Mixer trying to tell me something, or... What's going on with that? Let's clear that. Let's hit him with that, and we'll go with that. Uh, gamma, get that nut back in. There we go. All right, come on, beat him up. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, that's me screwing around too much. get myself? I did get myself. <laughs> oh, there's just something very, very wrong with that. Alright, and... <laughs> yeah. That was, uh... That was not the intended... Intended effect. Alright, let's hit myself with a med pack. Try to hit him with another concussion grenade. Oh, never mind, never mind. No, 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 no. He ran in close. He ran in close. Never mind. There's power attack is here. He's low enough. Alright, alright. Nope, 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 nope. Mistakes were made. <laughs> that started off so well. All right. Looks like we got a strategy. Stick with it. <laughs> All right. Let's skip through this. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, I know. I got the right strategy this time. I just got to actually stick with it through and through. I can't get complacent like that. That's, uh, that's my own fault for that one. Yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Unskippable. Okay. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who played and not. Dark side points for game. Oh, oh, oh. All right. First things first. Concussion grenade. Strength. Stamina. Speed. And lay in with the power attacks while he's stunned. Maybe. <laughs> Disengage. Bravely run away. Wait until he decides to stop engaging in your way. All right, all right. Uh, there are concussions in aid. Run! There we go. Power attack him while he's stunned. Oh. <laughs> All 
Alright, disengage. No. Nope. My own tactic used against me. Uh, and the first one went so much better too. All right. One more time, and then we'll move on to the other stuff we got for the day. Because I don't want to spend all day over here grinding on this either. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. there is skip, in this skip, corpse skip. a living legend. Come on. A man whose very name would make I've his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would be crazy enough to step into the ring when Yeah, I don't usually carry one. I didn't quite build this character for uh, for that kind of work. Really for your I probably should try that next if this doesn't go through. But uh, I noticed the first go around the concussion grenades seem to work a little more frequently too, which has me kind of perplexed. I also realized I forgot to do the energy shield, which may have had an impact on this too. So, dark side points. Concussion. Energy shield. <laughs> and... Oh. Let's get some strength. And some stamina. Why won't you stun? So focused on the frag grenades. All right, I know I said I was only going to do it one more time, but let's do it one more time. <laughs> that went too quick. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey. It doesn't help that when I did this the uh, last time through, I was level eight, and I'm currently only level five. Such would make his opponent shake I'm desperately trying to keep it so that way I get 15 levels of Jedi instead of the 12 that you get if you play through the normal progression. So I'd really like to see what you can do with more Jedi players. Dark side points gained. Alright. Let's open this up. With our concussion grenade. Our energy shield. Our strength boost. Our stamina boost. That's not what I want. Get back.
Oh. Oh. Okay, that's not my cards for today. <laughs> All right, that is so not in the cards for today. So, I guess we'll uh, head back to the sewers and finish up some missions over there, because that did not go well. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Yeah, Xbox party. <laughs> Onward and forward. Right, that's going to keep fussing at me. Let me get back down into the gang base. Because that was also on the agenda. we got to finish clearing out that gang. Steal the accelerator so we can join the bike race. And hopefully then earn that part that I'm forgetting. Because <laughs> short-term memory is a real problem. I kind of wish that there was a fast. I kind of wish there was a fast travel from time to time. Because uh, this running is uh, a little slow. At least I turned off my uh, minion's ability to lob grenades. So they don't burn through my stock before I get a chance to try that again. Right, come on, guys. Out of the way. Uh, this is the sprint. <laughs> there, there, There's no sprint button, but there is a run. And this is as fast as it will let you run. Sadly. I mean, I'd call this more of a sedate jog. But, uh, power walk. Alright, this should be the place I cleared out earlier. Alright, and there's my map. I have looted everything. I have done just about everything. So, I should be able to head to the next level. Yes, I did search those. Oh. Oh. I took a wrong turn somewhere. I'm lost. I'm lost in the enemy base. Not only am I lost in the enemy base, I'm lost with a map of the enemy base. That's where I need to go. There we go. That's more like it. And I should be able to come in here and turn off the turrets if I haven't already. Blaster turrets inactive. Okay, good. So I already did that. I can walk in here without getting shot to pieces. And away we go. I do with you? Reactivate. And... Oh. I've only got two more parts. Alright. Targeting systems or weaponry? Now, 
which way to go. I have it on good authority that to the right is the kitchen. Maybe it was left was the kitchen. Oh, 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 that's my own fault. Dang it. Uh, getting mad at my minions for doing that kind of stuff, and what do I do? I don't know why she got that close anyway. Alright, come on, Mr. Wookie. Power shot a fool. Um, okay, he's got the curve. <laughs> you kidding me? Are we all gonna sit here? Frozen and carbonate? Most of us. Uh, no, I guess I don't have too much of an option. Cue a bunch of those up. Get those out of the queue. Cue a bunch of those up. Oh! Oh my. I missed the fact that Oh. Oh, I'm paying sure. all sorts of inattention. <laughs> this is not good. Not good at all. Okay. So, yeah, he's dead. He's dead now. Oh, that was that was unexpected. I seem to recall that going better the last time. Fifty fifty chance to get it right, and I guess wrong every time. All right, let's try this again. This time, saving once we enter the base. Actually, do you have any uh, parts now that I know that I Welcome need a few? Welcome to more? the equipment. Let me see what you got for sale. Med pack, security spikes, blades, blades, blades. And no parts. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pick my fights a little bit better. Play a little bit smarter. That is what a little bit of inattention will get you. Plus, I've got to remember that I am now entering the area that is expecting you to be at level 6 or 7. So all these encounters are going to be scaled accordingly. And uh, I am still at level 5. So... If I find out that this uh, ends up being untenable at level 5, I may bump up to 6 and then try to stall there as long as I can. But um, we're not there yet. It's just my uh, very rude reminder that <laughs> I gotta make sure I keep an eye on, uh, on health. I need to figure out how to disable the uh, little chime there that happens every time. Oh, 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 oh. About to go the wrong way again.
Down this way, around that way. To the elevator door. Over the hills and through the woods. And to another save game we go. That save? No, that didn't save. Okay, that saved. There we go. Then we don't have to run next time. Alright. I know I need to get that guy to open up that door. I would like to get the other guy on patrol. So let me instead go to... Where's the skills? Skills. That is going to be repair. My total repair is 10. His total repair is 9. And hers is 2. Okay, so I guess it's me. <laughs> it's all me. Alright. Let me get this guy to do his thing. Reactivate. Ram the loading bay doors. Let me get this guy reactivated. Yep, not enough repair parts. Alright, optimize his weaponry and leave him alone and consider taking a different route because that is not the place I want to go just yet alright hello you appear alone and vulnerable Alright, lay out the sniper shots and the power shots. Sure, let's go this way. Oh, of course somebody else came. Alright, let's get a med pack in the... Actually, let's get a med pack sooner in the mix. And then throw a few more power attacks in. Get her to get a few more sniper attacks in. Get him to get a few more power blasts in. Kind of wish there's a way to change the default behavior on them too. So that way they would use those attacks a little bit more. Actually. Why am I... Let me do that again, and... Oh, yeah! There are these energy shields. Probably actually, you know, make use of them. Energy shield, and then power blast, and let's see if that doesn't help the survivability on these guys. <laughs> And I am not watching my health nearly close enough. Had the loot. Ooh, I'll take those. I will definitely take those. Oh, you had some loot too. Ooh, a heavy blaster and a heavy combat suit. So, I picked up a few of these now. Alright. That's not going to give me... No, because I've already got 21. That's going to drop it down to 19. 
Oh, not for me. He's a Wookiee. He doesn't wear armor. And she's already got a heavy blaster. So I'll probably put it on my other dude. But right now, she's got the Republic armor. Gives her a 24. Heavy combat suit would give her a 24. And she doesn't qualify for that because it's heavy armor. Alright, so I guess everybody's as good as I can get them at the moment. Sure. Alright, what we got down this hall? Door number one and door number two. Alright, let's get these guys where they can actually see the door. Open our standard door. Alright. There's two dudes in there. So let's take this guy. And let's throw in the power attacks. And they should be able to see... Nobody. Because of course not. And he's too far away. Yes, because of course he is. Oh, <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Oh, why couldn't these guys have been over by the garage door? <laughs> that that would have made this so much easier. All right, what's in the Footlocker? Med packs, some grenades, some antidote kits. Yes, please. And what we got over here besides the body on the floor? Not much. Alright. You guys in a position to actually do something. You're by the door. Oh. Okay. What can we do? Sure, let's hack a computer. If only it was that easy. Alright, security cameras. What's in the garage? Ooh. Will that take care of anything? Oh yeah, go check it out. Absolutely, take a look. Yep, stand really close. <laughs> There we go. Problem solved. Alright. It's in the garage office. We're in the garage office. Do not overload the terminal we're standing at. And the loading bay. This Yahoo. There's nothing I can do with that one. Okay. What about the engine lab? No, well let me do anything there. Okay. What other system commands do we have? Open all security doors. Yes, please. Upload the map. Yes, please. Alright. That appears to be a fair amount. And... We even got a couple of computer spikes back. Nice. What's in here? Ooh, some Pazat cards. And a, oh, improved energy cell. And the key. That is almost certainly going to be useful. Uh, no bench. So I can't do anything to her blaster yet. I've got the full map now, so... That's, got, all right, that's the door I came through. That's the garage, that's the loading bay. Alright, let's take a look at some of the stuff going on in there. Because that is the lab that I will ultimately need to do. I want to clear as much of this as I can. But first...
actually, before I get into combat range with those guys <laughs> and things go sideways, let me save the game. As all else fails, save the game. Still got that guy who's willing to shoot whoever walks near him. I wonder if I can herd those two near him. Never mind. Sure. Let's give that a try. No, 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 no. Be smart, be smart. Energy shield. Then power attack a fool. Alright. Gamma. Energy shield. Then snipe him down. Unload some power blasts. Sure, let's give this a go. Does that do anything useful? No, doesn't look like it. And this guy appears to be my trouble. Uh, nope, that's too close. Alright. Power attacks it is. With the miss. I'd love to toss a grenade into that, but that seems dangerous. That seems unwise. Yeah. Alright. Sure. Actually, I'd really rather use the advanced med pack, even though we're running a little low on those. They do tend to do more. I don't think that shield's going to help against that weapon there, so we'll skip that. Double down on those. Actually, wouldn't mind you using a regular med pack early. There we go. What? You're okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot he's back up. Advanced med pack. And a little med pack just to be sure. Then pump him full of power blast. And of course he ran out of sniper shots and stopped doing the big ones. There we go. And probably gonna need a med pack after oh. Won't let me do that. Yeah. Okay. What are you standing around there for? Get off. Back up. Med pack. Hmm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not attack. Power attack. Power attack. Where's my power attack? There we go. Because flurry, I keep forgetting, reduces armor. Which is not what I need right about now. Man, I'm burning through these med packs too. 
Yes. Alright. And let's go back to the power packs. And let's get another med pack in the queue. Go back to the power tanks. Got it. There we go. That was a little anticlimactic, but I'll take it. That's done. But you know what? Before I go any further, now that, that hard battle is done, let me save. <laughs> because if there's anything I would recommend, it's that after stuff like that, Save. Save often. Save frequently. There's seriously nothing behind that door? There's seriously nothing behind that door. Huh. Alright, what do we got in here? We've got bikes. We've got a door you can't do anything with. We got a strong box. It's no locked. Didn't work. Skill too low. Huh? All right. Come on, Miss gotcha. Security Bypass. Simple. Do that thing. Ooh, plasma grenades, computer spikes, two thousand credits. Yes, please. And what about this box? Parts, definitely needed. Repair kit. Always needed. All right. Sure. So far, so good. Uh, ooh, you know the downside to uh, getting the map filled in for you by the computer is hard to remember where you've been. All right, so I'm going to go down this hall here on the left, and I'm going to keep hanging left so I can clear these two rooms. I keep forgetting the cursors don't show up on the... Uh, on the stream for some reason. I'm going to fill out those two, take care of those two rooms down at the bottom left. Then I'll circle back for the engine lab, that yellow dot, and then we'll blow this joint. Oop. Hi guys. Ooh. Okay. That was quick. Seven credits. I guess I'll take the pocket change. Alright, uh, let me go solo mode. So I do not kill those two yahoos as I go to disable the mine. And disable the mine. You want to turn solo mode off? Yes, please. You guys gonna come along? Come along. Huh. No, no, of course not. Sneak attack. <laughs> Not that kind of character, though. Well, I mean, I am, but... Not in a way that it actually matters. Alright, there we go. Radiation shields? Oh. More energy shields. Okay. I'll take it. Definitely use that. Nothing of note over there. And we got a couple of gang members. Let's go in. Swords are swinging. 
Bam. <laughs> Interesting. After that big fight, I, I was expecting this to uh, stay at that difficulty level. But uh, apparently not. Onward and forward, I guess. I don't see any readable stuff. Well, let's go to the workbench, because I know we picked up... Let's use the workbench, because I know we picked up... I want to say it was something to upgrade the ranged. Yes. So we can give him an improved energy cell. Which will do an extra bonus damage. Yes, please. Just to make sure I didn't... Uh, miss anything there. No, that's fully upgraded. That I don't have the parts for. And I'm missing the energy projector. And then I'll have that fully upgraded. So, so far so good. Alright. Since it seems to be going so well, I am going to save. <laughs> Because I do not want another uh, encounter like that stupid droid rolling, rolling me. All right, down the hall we go. Anybody here? Hello. Housekeeping. Kuya mi juz kachita na ipatoga ya fulki kukula jiji kawana bota a ayut tagua. The big fight. Trying to steal the soup bike accelerator? Breshik stole yep. that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Acquiring the prototype. <laughs> no, actually, I think you did go through all the trouble of acquiring it for me to steal it back. Okay. <laughs> Would you like me to dispose no. of the back spies? Very observant. I can see why you're doing so well. Alright, uh, Do I want to tell him who I am? Or do I want to just go ahead and kick this fight into gear? Let me see if there's a way to talk my way out of this. Oh, okay, this is where you try to bribe me. Now, for those of you who have not been watching from the beginning, I'm trying to play this character as neutral good. And so, nope, you're not going to buy me off. He's smart. He's a blind fool. Yeah, such a visionary. Such a visionary that the local crime lord almost snuffed him out because he didn't pay. No, nope, not gonna have to try again. He bought me first. Alright. Here comes the fight. Because she's asking to kill. Yep. There we go. Right. What do I want to do? Let's. Alright. First things first. Actually, that's not really what I want to do, but I can't seem to get the queue up until that happens. So, let me get an energy shield, and let me actually use... I don't remember what the Hyper Battle Stimula did. This is not the time to be looking into that. I know I want to use one of the Staminas. And Strength. And once I'm done pumping myself full of drugs, I will then power attack this fool over there. What I want her to do... Boop. 
is first things first. Use her energy shield. And then lob a frag grenade back there, because he's probably going to stand there, and the radius is probably going to hit a couple of those guys there. And sniper him down. And I would like him to go ahead and pop an energy shield himself. Then power blast those guys in the back. So what I really want to do is, in order to survive this battle, I am pretty sure I'm going to have to knock guns out quick. And those two yahoos in the back seem like they are going to go down quick. So we'll get them, and then we'll get everybody to double down on her and him. Bam. Keep the power attacks going. He's nearly full. Okay, good. He's looking a little rough. No, 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 no. Power attacks, power attacks. With the bonuses. All of them. That does not look good. Stick with the original plan. Oh, okay. So. He's full health. She's looking a little low. So I'll keep the power attacks going up there. I'm actually going to have her lob a grenade. Because he's out of the way. And then sniper him. Since he's probably diverted his attention. I really want to finish that other guy in the back out first. Come on. There we go. I really want him gone quick. Alright. I need his attention. Uh, health is good, so I'm not going to worry about the med pack, so time to start power attacking him from behind. You really need... yeah, throw another grenade. I picked up some cash. Lob that grenade. I really want to get that guy in the back out of the way so we can all triple team this guy. Huh? And is he dead? He's dead. Okay, good. I did not want that flurry on him. I did not want that regular attack. I want to keep going. With, ooh, no, no, no. Watch the health. That's how I got in trouble the last time. And energy shield is down, but he seems to have gone to melee, so that works in my favor. She is also looking a little worse for wear, so let's get a mid pack in the queue. And then some sniper shots. He's not looking that bad, but let's preemptively get a med pack in the queue. Start queuing up those power shots. Yes. There we go. I got his attention. <laughs> gotcha. Overly dramatic death is overly dramatic. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Got a hair trigger, got a disruptor pistol, some en oh, Sith energy shield. Let's see if that's, yeah, let's take it all. Like we weren't going to take it all anyway. And what do you have on you? You got some credits, a heavy amplifier, some... Or a heavy blaster and an amplifier. Alright, let's take that. That's all looking good. Alright, uh... 
Did either of these two Yahoos have anything on them? Yes, you did. What you got on you? 41 bucks and... There we go. Alright, let's go solo mode. Yes. Let's save, because I really don't want to do that again. Yep. And now, let's go disable that mine. We're all good. Okay, good. Let's pick up the accelerator. Nice. So that should be everything we came here for. Let's get the band back together. Let's go see what we can equip that might be worthwhile too. So right now I've got the cardio package equipped. That ups my constitution by one, which helps my hit points and my durability. This will bump my dexterity by one. Hmm. I love the descriptions. Somebody had a little too much fun with this. This implant boosts the regular energy impulses of the nervous system, sharpening the performance of dexterous action. Inactive users may suffer the odd lingering twitch. You need, you need that, 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 you know, the announcer voice at the end, you know, where you hear all the wonders of the medication. Side effects may include. <laughs> so, do I want the bump to constitution or the bump to dexterity let's go back to the character sheet all right that's going to be a 16 either way neither one's going to be enough of a bump to actually do something for me why uh so let's see if either one of them are close enough that they would benefit she wouldn't benefit from the dexterity, but she would benefit from the constitution. Bumping that up from a 13 to a 14 would give her more hit points. Or, sorry, vitality. And either way, it means she'd last longer. What about this guy? Holy mother of constitution, Batman. I mean, it is a Wookiee. And he could use the dexterity. Because he is doing all ranged attacks with that bowcaster, and that would help him land some attacks. Alright, since neither one of those is helping me that much, I might actually take that off and give them each one. Alright, so he needed the dex. And she needed... You can't use it. Well, okay then. I'll go ahead and use it for now. Alright. So this increases my will save. That's what I got right now. This is going to increase my awareness. Not usable by wikis. Some item. <laughs> Some restrictions may apply. With this item, <laughs> abandon visual detection in favor of oral, citing that most creatures breathe, and even camouflage fields can't blend the sound of that away. Hmm. I probably could use an increase in awareness, and in the game too. But let's see if this would do better. Oh, this is going to increase will and awareness. Nope. Yep. Sold. Done. Alright, what about her? Let's go ahead and bump her awareness, because I'm pretty sure she's been spotting most of the stuff we're looking for. Oh, that's right, and the Wookiee can't use any of it. Alright, anything I can put on the hands. Alright, so... This has got one more use. <laughs> Are you implying that I'm willful? There might be some, uh... Yeah, we're not going there. Okay, anyway. Sith Energy Shield, yes please. I will gladly take that, because that is about dead. And I'd like to have that waiting in the wings. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at the weapons, because I'm sticking with the sword. 
And nope. Looks like that's all the fun toys I've picked up there that he can use. She's already got a heavy blaster. So that's one to eight, one to eight. Did I not blaster rifle, disruptor rifle? I thought I picked up something else. Maybe it was just another blaster pistol. Okay. He's going down the single combat, and she's got one use left. So let's go ahead and load up another one. With a sword, Mal. How cool is that? Oh, sorry. Wrong genre. <laughs> and this is probably down to its last use. Yep. So let me go ahead and get another one of those ready to go. And yep. Yeah. All right. So everybody's buffed out with the latest tools and toys. We got what we came for. All right. Let's get out of here. So I do believe we have left no crate, un crate unlooted. Crate. No crate unlooted. That's everything out of there. That's everything out of there. Other than burning some parts on him to repair him for the XP, I don't think we can do much more. And uh, I'm not a fan of wasting XP like that. Or wasting uh, repair parts like that. I definitely need to hit up the uh, the vendor and get some uh, get some med packs. Seriously, dude, you've been sitting there this whole time when you could have been doing something useful. I see how it is. Wait, that's not the way out I want to take. I want to go ahead and use the front door. Is there anybody to say no? No? Okay. To the front door. <laughs> Onward we plod. Uh, oh no, that's right. I picked up some parts for one of the guns. Everybody could use a little bit of healing. So let's kill two birds with one stone and return to the hideout. Are you sure? Yep. Let's see if the junk guy over here has anything uh, worth looking at. Back again. Yep. Let me see what you got. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Mines. Stimulants. Oh, got to use that. Maybe I should try that against uh, Mr. Nord, or Mr. Starkiller again. Actually, you know, let me go ahead and pick up another one. Alright, uh, okay, so he's got those for sale if I ever need them. What I really need... A repeating blaster. Hmm... Oh, no, that's a heavy weapon. Nobody can do that. I got blaster pistols aplenty. Sonic pistol? Doctor Who is that? No. Okay, all that... Oh. Attribute damage to dex. No. Alright, uh... That should about do it. I probably want to stock up on parts. Because that came in really handy. He's a little more expensive than the main guy. But I gotta go all the way over there. And that's a lot of walking around, so you win by virtue of convenience. Hush. Alright, what do I want to sell? Let me go ahead and get another med pack real quick. Twelve. That seems to be well enough to keep me good and going. Alright, so. 
I don't think anybody I'm going to pick up is going to stay with the combat suit. So let me go ahead and sell that. I know I'm going to pick up some more minions. So let me hang on to the heavy combat suit and the military suit. That Viber Blade's going to be nice. Uh, let me sell at least... Well, Alright, I got a couple more minions to pick up. I know at least one of them is not going to be properly armed, but... Let me get rid of the regular blaster pistols. Hang on to the heavy blaster. I keep saying I'm going to equip that ion because, you know, it does really nice against the droids, but I'm not... I'm clearly not switching weapons in the middle of things, so let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, let's hang on to that. Because that goes through most types of personal energy shields. So if there's a big bad that I really need to get through that shield, that might be worth hanging on to. Um... Six, one to six, one to eight. All right, let me hang on to those blasters until I see who I get next. Hanging on to the grenades. Yep, yep. I like the grenades. I'll hang on to that for now. And yep. Okay, good. Keeping everything else. That's not my apartment. That is. Alright, and we get to go into the workbench. Upgrade. Ooh, I forgot about him. Alright, he's already got the hair trigger. But not the energy cell, so the next energy cell i got to remember to handle hand to Karth. Let me put the hair trigger in the bowcaster. And I think that was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. Easy way to check. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, before I leave, are you guys going to talk? I don't want to be in the middle of running down a hallway and go, hey. Hey there, what can I do for you? They look like they want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. If I'm going to be any help. Okay. Okay. I you don't want to talk. What about you? <laughs> Gonna honor your life, Dad. Okay. Nothing new there. Now. These guys are still level 6, but I would like to get Karth some levels, so let's go ahead and add him. Having a Wookiee is always handy, so let's add him. <laughs> Because when you really got to make the bad guys go away, a Wookiee is the perfect thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait a second. Where's my quest log? I still haven't turned in the, the journals for the Promised Land. All right, let me go do that real quick before I get tied up in the swoop bike race. Because that is done. I've done everything over in that little spot that I can. And then I'll come back and talk to you guys. We'll get in the race. And uh, it'll give me another mini game to fail at epically. I think with some of the uh, combat stems, I might be able to try the uh, final final fight with uh, Starkiller over there. I should probably go ahead and try uh, try going at it with a ranged weapon, like Borrowed Karth's Blaster or something. 
Which reminds me, I've been checking everybody else's armor, but I haven't checked Karth's. Or if he can use any of the other stuff I got. So, first things first. You've got a military suit. Alright, so that's 19. That's what you're already wearing. So, no. You can't use implants, or there's not one for you. I don't know if you could use the will save or not, but I'd rather somebody actually use it. And you got four out of five uses left on that. That is your regular blaster. Ooh, yes, we want to upgrade you to use that heavy blaster in your offhand. All right, good. Okay. Oh. Earth can level up, too. All right. Let's level you up. All right, soldier. Where are we putting your skill point? Where we always put it. And treat injury. <laughs> okay, feats. You are clearly going down the two-weapon fighting. And that's not until level eight. All right. You are not doing melee, so I don't know why you have power attack. We are doing the power blast tree, and that requires a level 8. We can do the sniper shot. We're not focusing on rifles, or heavy weapons, or melee. Toughness is not really going to help, and dueling only matters when you have one-handed weapons, or one weapon, a single one, one-handed weapon. So, I guess it is improved sniper shot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I know, I know, I need to level up. And Mr. Zalbar is getting pretty close too. All right. Oh, no, oh, oh. and I oh, wrong one. No. Oh. Why can I never remember which is which? Yeah, I want to turn you off, Grenadier. I'm gonna burn through all my stinking grenades. Okay. Where's the leader? Cause that's where the rat ghouls were. Ooh. Do you actually sell healing supplies? You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts. But you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I did. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can I'll offer is the, the gratitude of the entire village. Okay. You don't sell anything. Farewell. Okay. Oh, that's right. The only one who sells stuff is the weasel in the back that I'm not talking to. All right, come back. Let me turn in How the goes journals. Your quest? Have you found the journals, found the journals of my father, of and, father grandfather? and grandfather? I have all Can three journals. True? Is it possible that at long last the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I, I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes, hmm. yes, of yes. course. No, I understand. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Now oh, wait a I second. See why the promised land you has had been so and then to lost find. all these journals, so but you obvious. had them at one point. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A and selfless just now act seeing it? that will bring great joy okay. to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Right away. True Cut kills. Scene. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think not these fables. are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything It's the same information you had before, true, before they got lost. The promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance right. is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul infested areas. If I do not you deny somebody the journey that will be hard, Gendar, some Rakul serum. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words okay. will kill. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. 
I will say a final Bye. goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the promised land is long and arduous. No, Upworlder, sure? I cannot ask that. The journey will take many, Aww. many weeks. And those but who I make go the to journey the cannot return. Where the grass is that green was the, the final secret of the promised land. When the colony was created, it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could oh. never leave again. This was this to the Hotel California on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I gotcha. sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. But the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. And just like that, they're gone. Bye bye. Ooh. XP, journal, light side points, and I lost their journal. Alright. Yeah. See, I made the mistake of having that conversation before taking care of those guys that had the Rackle disease. And so they all wandered off, and this whole pen was just empty. Like, everybody just kind of like pieced out. And that's it. They're gone. Bye. This whole place is empty. Even the greasy cellar over here is gone. Not a person. Not an item. Just pure emptiness. Alright. So, back up a level. To the lower city. As opposed to the lower, lower city. And now we're gonna go talk to a guy about a bike race. Eventually. This is where a podcast would be handy. <laughs> I actually should look into a couple of them, see if that's something I can't have running in the background while I do some of this stuff. I'm pretty sure there's a couple that wouldn't mind. Uh, no, there were no vendors in there, so... Into the base. I know, I know. Why, hello, Mr. Quest Turnin. You have returned. Check you have the prototype what I have. engine accelerator with you? I have the accelerator right here. I don't even know why it gives you the options to say no. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Uh, no, no, no. I really don't like either one of those options, but don't. All right. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the hidden back banner, and I'm still going to still let you do, let you do that. that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the Ooh. prototype accelerator installed on it. <laughs> Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the oh. race. Uh, let's I agree with Mr. Paranoid. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. Oh. The accelerator is unstable. <laughs> so this is not an act of generosity. During the race. Okay. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. All right. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll this is wonderful. This is great. If this you is a beautiful prototype. It'll help you win. If you'll it win for the best. doesn't explode. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, dude. <laughs> you right. can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine. So you won't be able to practice your riding, but I've got good instincts, oh. and you have the look of a racer about you. Just mm -hmm. try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Just try to relax while we put you on a bike with a part that is untested that might blow up on you. Gotcha. All right, let's go race some bikes. 
So you're the one who's gonna ride this bike. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Stability won't be a problem. I hope. Words to live by. Or not. Yeah, I mentioned you've never done this before. Yeah. By the way, I installed this expensive prototype that you had to beat up a whole nother gang for, and, uh... Oh yeah, I know that you've never done this before. Yes, how is this done? Try not to crash into anything. Thank you for that stunning insight. I don't know that I would have been able to do this race without it. Alright, debris and obstacles all over the course, so watch out. All suits are equipped with dynamic deflector systems, so hitting an obstacle won't cause you to crash, but it will shake you up a bit and slow you down. Alright. Also has accelerator panels built into the surface. If you fly over one, it'll give you a boost of speed, so try to hit them when you see them. Okay. So, Mario Kart. Gotcha. Where do I pick up the red shell? Or the blue shell? Alright, uh... <laughs> All right, let's do this. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, we're supposed to... Oh, yeah. Uh, that is the other thing. Your, the way the game's set up, you do a trial run. And then somebody magically comes in with a time that is one second faster. So you will then have to beat that time that is one second faster than whatever time you post on your trial run that is at least better than the pacer. So our goal in this next race is to barely beat the pacer so that way our actual race will be easier. Yeah, I won't let you down. Go talk to the race announcer. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. Alright. So, I need to drive this like that sports car that was going 30 and a 45 on the way home. And, uh... <laughs> Alright, I'll be waiting for you here, so you make any tweaks or repairs. The key to the race. That probably won't happen. Oh, of course. Thank you for those comforting words. Alright, first things first. Let's see, do you have anything to say? Do you have a name? Every year we lose a couple of first timers. <laughs> really instilling the confidence there. We sometimes lose the, the newbies. And you're on a prototype. That might explode. No stress. Go out there and win, go out there and win one for the Gipper. <laughs> Alright, you got anything useful to say? You're also named. I mean, yeah, th this is like, you know, joining a major league soccer team in the middle of, uh, you know, the World Cup. Or, I'm going to make my debut on the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me about that chance to explode. Everybody's going on about that chance to explode. And, don't worry. I mean, worry, but don't worry. But, fly casual. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No first year has ever won a super racing season opener until this game ran by hand of foot. <laughs> yep. Alright, Benny and the Jets. Come on. Finish your top. And do you have anything useful to say? Nope. Nope. There we go. I see in the cage behind him is a prisoner. The one we're looking for. 
Really? Because Homeskill had over there said I had the look of a racer. Or, or is that my magic feather? Like, you know, a nimbo. Okay. Alright, who else can I talk to while I'm here? Can you say anything? No one's allowed to talk to the prisoner. The neural just... Okay. At least I know she's alive. Alright, Mr. Announcer. Race. Let's see who your sponsor is. Riding for the hidden box. I always like that. Alright, alright, all right. thank you for hammering home the hidden backs of the good guys, and the workers are the bad guys. Alright, good, good luck and try not to get yourself killed. Oh, we've only lost one rider today. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the truck. Alright. What is the time to beat? So the goal is to barely beat 38.43. Alright, I need to take care of something first. Called saving. There we go. Okay. Now we can Back again. Alright. Oh, I want to race one of my heats. Alright, since I know I actually want a sandbag. Let's see if that's enough, uh... Enough of a sandbag to, uh... Just need to be 38 something. Oh, not too fast. Is that just barely beating it? I forgot what came after the 38. Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> now that I know that I can definitely get it, because, you know, sandbag. <laughs> you just... <laughs> oh, if that's a top time, then I got news for you guys. I got something to tell you. You need to sit down, because it's going to make you sad. All right. So he just beat my time. Get out there and show him how it's done. I mean, like starting on the green light. All right. Let me say anything new to me. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna taunt me. Alright. No, no, I think it was actually good enough. I think I can match the time that you posted. Alright. Hello, Mr. Race Announcer. Ready to hit the truck? No, not literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny, funny, funny. Those are my jokes. Alright, so what is the time to beat? <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's do this. For real this time. <laughs> Off we go.
Alright. I hope not. You never saw somebody drive in a straight line and avoid obstacles? Huh. No wonder why 38 seemed like such a uh, wonderful time. Alright. Time to become official. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner. Winner of chicken dinner. Before I present the so called champion of the Bex with their prize. There is something you must know. The winning, the winning rider, rider cheated. cheated. Well, I mean, I did cheat in that I knew that the game posted the next heat a little bit, just a little bit faster than Your what you do. Your was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly uh -huh. an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden back treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of uh -huh. the victory prize. Okay, one okay. That's it. Come on. You put up or shut up. That's what I heard. You fool. Your traditions are nothing Yeah, to me. we notice traditions I mean nothing to you. Future. It's kind of sad that way. Kind of pressing given how far back the game was made to. Nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. <laughs> Could have done this the whole time. What? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Uh -huh. Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Kill them all! Alright, um... You look like you're just gonna stand there. Yeah, we gotta get the easy guns out the way. So... We'll flurry you... Actually, no. We'll get our energy shield. There we go. Then we'll flurry you. Then we'll see where that goes. Oh, 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 watch the health bar. Watch the health bar. Alright. Bam. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Big med pack. Twice. And switch to the power attacks. We need to do this quicker. Come on. Is this really how this is gonna go? Is this really how this is gonna go? We're just gonna keep missing each other? Alright. Good to know that we love a game of wiffle ball. There, take that. Swing and a miss. Come on. Hit, hit that home run. Miss. 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 Missing. Swinging blades and misses. At least all the misses are saving me on health packs. Come on. One of you guys gotta land on this fool. Alright, 
clearly the minus I'm taking at the uh, power attack is the difference between this hitting and not hitting. Or maybe not. Alright, let's get a med pack in there before that gets too low. And... Let's try the flurries. There we go. Alright. What you got on you? Ooh. Okay. Yes, please. I'll take all that. Anybody else to loot? No? Okay. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I well, don't I was, believe this. Yeah. You're you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Oh, you just yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Alright. <laughs> I find it funny that that is an actual option. Alright, uh... Winning the Say, race. Yep. is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you're you talking noticed, about, I managed to you're free, free aren't you? From that neural restraint collar without your help. Oh. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik no. and his Vulcans no. would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get Grr. you out of this mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, arguing is not going to help us. So. Is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself yeah, a hero he's been okay a dozen times up. over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth one of the wine soldiers, you but you know, confident okay. in your abilities. abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please take me mm -hmm. to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. And I think it's getting ready to show... Oh, it's going to not load correctly. Okay. Going to show us a video? Is that what it's struggling with? Oh, come on. Why are you giving me trouble? Seriously going to give me trouble now? Uh, how about now? Why are you struggling? Oh. It's trying to show one of the videos. And for whatever reason, it just does not want to load the video. All right, let me minimize that and see if it helps. Is that what it's fussing about? So here's the question. Where did it save at? There we go. So hopefully that showed the vision. You cannot win, Revan. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting some battle footage. Some stuff with Revan. You're alive. Oh, oh. oh. come on. Finally, things are looking up. Go. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Saving you. I'm sure that's not the right answer. I'm 
pretty sure that's supposed to be what it is. Yes, I'll be good. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps uh -huh. we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but mm -hmm. a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a mm -hmm. member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in yada, this war, yada, yada. and it will battle serve us well meditation. here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen yeah. to the advice of those who have seen good more combat. Good leaders listen to their sergeants. Ask any successful uh, second lieutenant. All right. Yes. This is not right, helping. Of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest you we do? Sound happy. First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Uh, right. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Gee, if only I thought to ask wrong. around in the cantinas. You seem as if something's troubling you. Alright. Let's talk about the vision. A vision of what? I hope that went out on the stream. Of you this fighting dark Jedi. Strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm shocked. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When it may be met, that the protagonist in a game of our Jedi has some connection to the Force. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's <laughs> aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Uh-huh. And... Oh, the Force yeah, is complicated. No. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape the wise masters Terrace, of the Jedi the Council, or the, the three fools wish. we're going to meet in a minute? They will understand the significance of your vision. I guess we'll leave it the three fools we're going to meet However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. Yes, we can't yes, afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Alright. Let me double check real quick. Do I have any parts for that? Alright, and I don't think I picked up any parts for those. Yeah. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I haven't picked up anything for any of that. Always want to double check, and while I'm here... What do you have? Oh, besides clothes. Alright, that's all you can wear. Let's get, all right, uh, damage resistance five or slashing. Good to know. Let's get you one of these energy shields. Let's get you your double-bladed lightsaber. And actually, I think I'm going to take a bunch of that stuff, so... Let's get back to me. Because the belt... Damage resistance, yes please. Let's see that or the reflexes. Let's do the damage resistance. And, oh no, I want to keep that energy shield and I want to do the armband. Alright, uh, when used in conjunction with the belt, generates an effective barrier against melee attacks. Since that's where I seem to hang out. <laughs> Ooh, and the gloves. Yes, please. I'll take the dex boost. Which also means... That I can go back to her. Oh, that was awareness. Unless somebody had... Yeah, let me... Take that off. And switch from a bump to con to a bump in dex. Because... 
If that's going to give me a plus one to dex, and that's going to give me a plus one to dex, that should put it at a nice 18. That'll work. Bump to con isn't really going to help me. Will it help her? Not enough to make it worthwhile. Will it help him? Not enough to make it worthwhile. Okay, the mission could use the bump to con. I think the reason why I didn't do it is because she can't she can't use those. Of course. Alright. I think that gets everybody equipped. Yeah. Okay. Boots. And let's see, hey does anybody what want to I talk? I want to talk to you about your brother. Alright. Okay. Never mind. Have it your way. I was hoping you'd be useful. Mm. Mm. Do you want to talk? Mm. And you don't trust me. Mm. Nope. Mm. Okay. Mm. And you, Sir yes, Wineslot. Never got mind. It. And you. I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Or we rescued you, you mean? No. Yes, I realize <laughs> that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you well, found me. Well, I mean... You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volca prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Oh, so you're impressed now. And rescued the damsel in distress now. Uh... Your modesty is good. admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but mm. only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some mm -hmm. individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. Oh, that's right. This came out before something, it's something that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation <laughs> for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But Call as it me is, old. <sighs> Alright, what are you trying I'm to sorry. say? I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your yeah, abilities gifted enough to see me. training and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Okay. So I've talked to everybody that's going to talk. Alright. Yeah, because I'm going to have to level her up. He's level 7. They're level 6, so... I would like Madam Jedi. And let's go ahead and take Karth with me, because they're both going to like the same things anyway. Okay, is that the configuration you want? Yes. So much for uh, being under the radar. Like I just walk out of my apartment and, hey, you won the race, right? You must keep a low profile. Sith infested planet. Alright, meet Candor's Order. For those of you that haven't been watching the previous episodes, he is the mercenary that works for the big crime boss that happens to own the fast ship. Oh, yeah, good. Chance to remind everybody. Okay, what is he working on? <laughs> he only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. 
Yeah, it's almost like he's got to take it off of this planet. All right. Now. All right, good. I'll be able to talk to him. I'll be able to do a couple of things. I should still try my luck in the arena. Because I really would like to get that done before moving too much further along. Alright. That is almost always the wrong way. And... Oh. There we go. Alright. Let's go try my luck in the arena one more time. Because I really would like to clear that off the slate. I can't remember if it's this cantina or the other one. Where I gotta collect the bounty that he'll meet you at. Okay. Oh, good. She's ready to level up. Bam. All right. So you get to have a bump. All right. Short term, charisma would be nice because that would up her ability to use Jedi powers. Constitution would be nice because while it doesn't help now, when she gets to level 8, I'll be able to bump it again and get her some more hit points. And given that she is a melee character, that hit points are nice. So we're going to go with hit points. Skills. Where did you put your skills? Treat injury and awareness. And that's it. And we can't put any stuff in Persuade. So what good is the High Charisma? Alright, then I guess we'll go with Treat Injury. So that way you at least get a bump on the med packs. Ooh, Powers. What do you have already? Force Aura. When this power is activated, Jedi is temporarily granted a plus two bonus to Defense. Defense. And all saving throws. The effect lasts for 20 seconds. And we cannot bump that up until level 6. Okay. We do cure. Nope. Not until level 6. We do burst of speed. Alright. Unless you move swiftly. Not something I want on my support characters. Force Valor. This power increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members. Okay, that is... Alright, Force Valor is definitely up for consideration. Resistance can't happen until 9. Energy resistance. Um, hmm. Shields the Jedi and the Force, absorbing the first 15 points of damage from sonic fire, cold, and electrical attacks. Last for 120 seconds. Okay. Effect mine. So she does have Force Persuade. Really? Uh, hmm. Well, except as a prerequisite for Dominate Mine. Oh, that is Conversation. Okay. So I can select that anyway, because only the main character can select that level during power up. I'm stunned. Alright, uh, stun the opponent. <laughs> that could have been nice against uh, Starkiller. 5 plus the attacking character's level plus the character's wisdom and charisma modifiers. But I can't level that up until 9. Stun droid could come in handy. It's stun, but for droids. Wound. 
Oh, that is a dark side power. We're going to skip those. Dark side power. And we're going to skip those. Dark side power. We're going to skip those. Shock. Which is shockingly tempting. Force push. Universal. Okay. Well, oh, no, nope, can't do that till nine. Drain life is a dark side power. Force suppression. This ability will cancel first and second tier force powers active on the target. Nice. And it's universal, which is also nice and can't happen till level nine. Throw lightsaber. Okay, that gets a little range. And we can't bump that up. So, that brings us back to, we had Stun Droid. Be nice when we go up against the droids. And we had Valor, which will be nice against everything. That gives everybody at least two points of physical attribute bumps. Uh, physical attributes being strength, dexterity, and constitution. And that would increase the ability to hit the damage done on hit. Well, for melee. And that should be enough to bump up Khan to get a couple extra hit points on it, too. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. And next level... We will we'll add one more in awareness and then bump up a treat injury. All right. Since we didn't pick it the last time and it would still be useful, we're going to grab stun droid. And, ooh. Okay. Feats. You have been granted the following feats at this level. Force Immunity, Stun, and Night Sense. Oh, other night. <laughs> Alright, what does she have already? Obviously we're not going... She doesn't have any of the dueling, but she did start down the two-weapon fighting. And since she has a two-bladed saber, I'm pretty sure that's the intended route. He's got Jedi Sense. Plus four defense, always nice. Jedi's, okay, immunity to stun, always nice. Jedi Defense gives a character a plus three bonus to all blaster bolt deflection rolls. Ooh. Okay, that could be nice. Melee weapons does not affect lightsabers. Weapons focus lightsaber does. That's a plus one to attack. All right, so we got a couple of options there. We got a plus one to attack or a plus three to blaster bolt deflection rolls. All right, we're not doing anything with the blaster pistols. He does not have power attack, which is concerning. No cybernetic implants. Conditioning is useless. She does have flurry. So we could always upgrade flurry. That cuts down the defense hit and has a chance to... Uh, what do I use in for three seconds? Okay. Hmm. This reduces the attack penalty when wielding a double-bladed weapon or two weapons. Alright, so that's going to cut down the penalty by two. And that's going to increase attack by one. Yeah, let's cut down the penalties first before we start bumping up attacks. Get ourselves out of the hole we're in. Alright, and powers. Ooh, that means we could bump up Fort's shield. That's always an option. Cure is an option now. 
Yes, please. I'd like to not keep buying medvacs. I mean... <laughs> Alright, and that's right, I can't do that because she cannot wear implants. Energy shields, this will give her better reflexes, so might as well. Alright. Everybody's back to where they need to be. Okay. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just Not the kind you. of person I'm looking for. I did for. get results. What you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, mm -hmm. Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting uh -oh. cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break right. the Sith quarantine and get off this back. Second plan. only to don't piss off a Wookiee is don't shortchange your Mandalorian mercenary. <laughs> I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job uh -huh. done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this haven't a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race Anyone like crazy that enough is to probably drive in a crazy line? enough to break into the Sith military base. Okay. I need someone to steal uh -huh. the Sith launch codes from the base. Yeah, we're getting Without all the codes, codes in the ship. Any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith. I see how this works. I bring the codes. Guys. You bring me to the ship. So what's Here's the this for me? You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Yeah, light side seems awfully flexible about, you know, stealing ships. Granted, it's from a criminal, but, you know. Right, uh, da -da -da. I'm not going to worry about his part. Getting in. Won't How be do I get into the base? The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through Ooh, it. Lucky I for you, I know body. just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes mm -hmm. from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do okay. this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to oh, get those so codes you're back. too high profile. That's why I need you. Gotcha. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right. So that happened. All right. Let us save the game. Because a lot's happened. All right, let's try this arena battle one more time. I'm sorely tempted to level up just once more to see if I can make that work, but, um... Nah, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, same thing you're saying in the... Yeah. yeah. All right, come on. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins says he's got something to show me. Ladies and gentlemen, here the announcer, one more time. A man whose very name would make his opponent fourth time to come. Yeah, fourth time. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would be crazy enough? Who would be crazy enough to do this over and over again, like a bad case of? <laughs> all right, little iron plasma. Throw the concussion grenade. Load up the shield. Use the hyper battle stem. Ooh. I am really short on med packs. I should have done something about that ahead of time. Oops. 
All right, do all that, and then run in for the power attack. I can throw grenades at each other. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. Mistakes were made. Power attack of fool sitting there. Actually, what I really need to do is med pack this fool while he's not shooting back. Oh, are you kidding me? try this again by buying some more med packs. <laughs> that seems smarter. That seems a lot smarter. Let's go buy some med packs. <laughs> yeah, YOLO! Uh, Alright, let's buy some med packs and then try this again. No, let's buy some med packs and then some more grenades and we'll try this again. Oh, yeah. This is a lot harder at level 5 than it was at level 8. That is for sure. Why, hello, good sir. Welcome to my medical... I even have a cure for the rat ghoul. Of course, I sell them at a very reasonable... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Let me see what you have for sale. Step over here and I'll... Oh, he's all out of the advanced med packs. The bum. All right. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Huh. Well, there's the poison immunity. And I have the credits. Hmm. That's something to think about. Preventing loss of consciousness due to sudden impact or sensory overload. That might be what I need. Because he's stunned me a couple of times. Come on, he's only got the one. Yep, I still wish to buy it. Alright, now I've already got a few of those. How many of those do I have? Alright, um, hmm. Every boost in the Constitution. Yeah, that bumps up the con by four, which bumps up your hit points and your ability to uh, manage a fort save. Let me go ahead and pick up another couple of those while I'm here. Alright, so let me get two more of the stamina. So I want to have about five of each on hand. And I need one more of the strength. 
Okay. We've done our shopping. Let's go try this again. Oh wait, no. Grenades. Sure would be nice if I had some more grenades. Oh. Ponderously ponder on down. Hi, hello. Hey, look at... If times weren't yep. so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. Uh -huh. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. Yeah. Right. Uh, because of the Sith. Yep. All right. You've got the regular med packs. There's nothing here that I really need. How many concussion grenades do I have? I might want more of those anyway. No, I got 10 concussion grenades. I need at least three more frag grenades. I wonder if I could walk him onto a mine. No. No, that's asking for, uh... That's asking for damage. Uh, that's asking a... a little self-damage. Hmm. Uh, to the arena we go. I keep getting pretty darn close. Problem is, is he's changing tactics, and I am not recognizing when the tactics change. So, save. Yep. Yep. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. skip. Maniacal. Ladies and gentlemen. There is in this corner a living legend, a man who has been in the every other part, but this one. In their boots, if any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who right and now. All right, let me do the shield. See if I can concuss him out of the gate. Try that again. Start with the shield. Try to concuss him out of the gate. Give myself a stim boost. And see what comes next. Oh, kidding me. Distance to do that. No. 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 That went worse than the last go round. 
that went a lot worse than the last go around. All right, I really don't want to push too much further because I know there is a point at which you cannot go back. And I can't remember if that's after the assault on the military base or not. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to load this game back up. I know I've still got to retrieve the droid. So let's take care of that with the remaining time I've got on the stream. Because that was a big old pile of nope. Yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely a lot tougher on your lower level. It doesn't help that I'm not hitting him all that much, so maybe what I need to do is do the uh, strength boost. No, sorry. Do the dex boost, because the dex boost will increase my chance to hit. Then with the dex boost, I'll be able to power attack and maybe actually hit him. Because that's part of the problem. I'm doubling down on the power attack for the extra damage. And uh, because of the penalty to hit on the power attack, it's just not cutting it. Literally. Listen to me, people. Wait. There is a terrible scourge Where's sweeping the our shop? planet. Where's the turret shop? Heed my warning before it is too late. Alright. Hey, lady. Had you a punky? Matter of fact, I know one of the minions you get later. He might change your opinion of that too. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Are you 2K? Are you kidding me? Uh, hmm. Can chop a chow with tea chop twees, yun kun. What to yama kama wuna henak neck? Bugra shak kun tichi wa um chawa. The fine art of butter. Yeah, no. Shoot. Spent all that money on gear and stuff, and now I can't afford, afford the droid. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule radwana. Don kin ba no kudnok ne. Ken chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun. Hakuji kopa? Jin no mula. Yeah, let me see your inventory. I need to come up with 800 credits. Alright. What can I start selling? That is worthless. That is close to worthless. Uh, hmm. I'll go about halfway there. I'd really like to not sell... A plus one con boost, but I might have to. All right, uh, you know what? I sell those guys. Let me sell that guy. Let me sell that guy. Okay. Hachu a punky. Jishawa a nibun ka. Mokao dang ya poki. Oh, seriously? You're gonna give me the 2k thing again? Kavadun baka palia mona pata. Bona na kachu. Yi. Genchopa. Hakuji kopa. Rundi. Let me try. Hachu a punky. Of course, I passed the uh, persuade her. Mokao dang ya poki. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata. Pata 
Kincho, Hakuji Kapa. Run the Ichawat. Here. There we go. One of these has. I thought that was it. Yeah. That doesn't give me how far, how far off I lost the uh, persuade roll. Okay. Hachu a punky. Look how that. Can chop a chawi. There we go. Okay. It's a deal. All right. for now and add you okay so I can try to equip you out I lost a lot of money although before I forget <laughs> I forgot to put the uh, anti-stun on when I went to uh, go fight home skillet over there though I'm pretty sure the dex boost really helped me so I don't know which is going to be the better Hmm. Alright, let me try that. And let me go. So you have a regular blaster pistol. You got an energy shield. You got light blading, stun ray. So the question is, do I give you a second gun or not? What, uh, what feats you got there, good sir? Alright, uh, this drawer is fitted with the most basic combat programming, allowing for simple but offensive, effective defensive maneuvers, plus two to defense, always active. Alright. The ability to integrate blasters into his weapon system. Yada yada. Alright, uh, more adaptable. Blaster pistols. Your head, of course. Caution. So he's not set up either way. Since he's not set up either way, let me at least move him from a regular blaster to a heavy blaster. And then I might put a second weapon in his hand as soon as I can start giving him some uh, dual dual wielding. Although, I just realized I should be leveling him up anyway. Alright. Holy mother of intelligence. Alright, let's bump up your decks. Because we're going to want that for defense and your attack rolls. You're clearly ranged attack. Skills. Yeah, we'll use you for computer work, repair work, and security work's always nice. My demolitions is high enough that we won't worry about that, although I got nowhere else to put the point. So we might Oh, because that's a cross class. Alright, then we'll bump that back one and level it up again the next time. Okay. And level up again. Oh, now it'll give me some other options. Okay, so let's bump that up to eight, up to eight, up to eight. Okay. Ooh. Now, do I want to set him off for down the dual wielding route? Oh, he doesn't get the other one. Okay. Alright. Combat logic. That doesn't go up until later. That doesn't go up till later. 
plus one to attack, or I can start him off down the two weapon fighting. Hmm. Yeah, because it's either going to be an add, a plus one bonus to blaster pistols, or start him off down the dual wielding. Although it doesn't look like he has the option for the third one that kills that penalty altogether. So he's still going to be walking around with a minus two, minus four. Um, although his dex is already a plus three, so it's only going to be plus one, minus one each go round. All right, let's go ahead and add it. Let's start you down the dual wielding, good buddy. Get another blaster pistol in your hand. All right, and that's cross-class skill. That's cross-class skill. Computer use and repair. Okay. Beats. He gets the logic update. Nice. Okay, so it looks like this one's going to happen just from leveling up anyway. Good to know. No, I'm not giving you toughness. That doesn't happen to level 7 anyway. Can I do... Yes. Alright, let's add that. Let's max out that tree. There we go. Uh, Jedi droid... Uh, use force powers... Okay, yep. Jedi Druid Support, while we're at it, let's set you to Jedi Druid Support. And now that we got you with the two weapon fighting, let's put a couple of blaster pistols in your hand. <laughs> Alright, that's about all we got for there. Okay. Do you talk? No. Okay. You gonna blow up the second I walk out of this door? The last guy did. Alright. So. It is 8.37. And I don't want to start assaulting the base yet. I can't remember if after that assault is complete, if it ends up putting me in the boss's base and I won't be able to do anything else or not. So under the assumption that that is going to railroad me down to a dead end on the final little bit, I'm going to go ahead and try this arena fight one more time. And win, lose, or draw, I will call it a night after this fight. from there. This fight does not go well. I'm... I did gather my party. They're, they're right there. Or are they slow? best armor I can get. I got the top weapon I can get. Well, short of uh, stealing one from home skillet. Yeah, no, blaster's not going to help me on this one. Alright, and save. Save. Yep. Once more into the breach, dear friend. Once more. I'll stuff the wall with our English dead. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, a living legend, 
Oh, yeah. He's only beaten in five times. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and great enough. No, not the fire grenade. I want defense. Concussion. Stimulants. Sure. Of course I did. Although the frag grenades did seem to go a little bit better. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I just need to get him successfully stunned and then frag grenade him to death. Alright. I know it's a little earlier than I normally go, but I really do want to grind that one out and finish it. But uh, failing repeatedly does not make for an exciting stream. So with that, I'm going to call it a little early tonight. And uh, this time I will actually try to grind that out. I was kind of hoping I had a tactic that would work without having to grind it out off screen. But uh, yeah, so much for that. Turnarounds and roundabouts or something like that. So um, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoy it. The stream archive will be available on Twitch and Mixer for as long as I hang on to it. It will always be available on the YouTube channel if you'd like to get notified when I get when I upload new stream archives, please subscribe. Uh, that does help the channel out. Helps me get a little bit more exposure and all that. And we do this every Thursday at 6 p.m. We also do World of Tanks on Fridays at 7 p.m. And a uh, series I jokingly call the 47% because I make the top half possible. <laughs> it, it is far more exciting than that. It's, it's good fun. Nice way to unwind and get ready for the weekend. Also on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. I stream Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server, small family survival server, and uh, that too is a lot of fun. More can be found on that at CoffeeCraft.us, and all the stream replays are available up on my YouTube channel. So have fun. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again next week, if not sooner, and I'll bid you adieu.